सन उन्नीस सौ तीन हवाई जहाज के इन्वेंशन ने बदल दिया दुनिया के आने जाने का तरीका 2022 वेदांतो लॉन्चेस एआई लाइफ और ये बदलने वाला है दुनिया के सीखने का तरीका इंटरक्टिव क्लासेस टॉप टीचर्स सिर्फ पांच हजार रुपए सालाना Welcome to all of you. I hope all you guys are having a super amazing day going on. Now, guys, today's class is going to be very exciting because we are starting with a brand new chapter. Now, that is chemical effects of electric current. Now, I am pretty sure that you might have already learned about heating effect of electric current, magnetic effect of electric current. All these two are done, but this chapter specifically talks about the chemical effects of electric current, and I hope. All you guys are ready for this amazing class. If you guys are new here, a very warm welcome to Vidantu Young Wonders and to my class. My name is Mohan, Master Teacher of Science from Vidantu here today. So let's have a lot of fun discussing this amazing chapter. So are you all ready, guys? Are you all ready? You know, after learning this concepts of chemical effects of electric current, no, our brain is going to be like this. Whoa. so much information so much knowledge <laughs> all right so if you guys are feeling sleepy tired lazy no okay no see even this thing something happened right here <laughs> all right so make sure that you guys are not like this be active be like this cat with with electric energy inside you <laughs> all right guys so with this we'll get on forward with our first thing guys before this see we already know that we have learned about heating effect of electric current and magnetic effect of electric current let's try to recollect those concepts right so whenever we try to understand the heating effect of electric current we all know that when electric current flows through a conductor why do we call it as flow because charges are flowing through them right it makes the conductor hot all right now that is called as heating effect of electric current for example <clears throat> when you put your phone on charge overnight next day morning you wake up you touch the charger cable it will be warm right right now if you are using your laptop touch your uh, charging cable of the laptop it will be warm that is because whenever electric current flows through a conductor it produces heat now this is heating effect of electric current you know one such amazing uh, application of heating effect of electric current is the bulb now when we consider a bulb a bulb has what a filament inside it now whenever electric current flows through the bulb the filament becomes very hot right when it becomes very hot it starts emitting it shines and starts emitting light now all of this is heating effect of electric current when we focus on magnetic effect the same thing whenever electric current flows through a wire it behaves like a magnet it produces a magnetic field All right now we can test this using a magnetic compass so all of this is what we have learned in our previous grades now this class we'll talk about what about chemicals are there any chemical effects because of electricity we will see now how many of you guys have got scoldings from your parents when you went to the washroom you came and washed your hands and you are like i'm feeling very hot let me turn on the switch no in slow motion from background your mother no rahul no <laughs> why because you will be electrocuted you will be shocked right why does that happen guys what happens when you touch uh, a switch with your wet hands what is difference between touching it with your normal hand and when you're touching it with your wet hand is because your hand is wet that means you have water on your hands now comes a question to all of us but sir can water conduct electricity first of all what are conductors what are insulators right so conductors are objects which allow electric current to flow through them right for example metals copper like metals like copper aluminum iron all of these are good conductors of electricity they allow electric current to flow through them they are conductors on the other hand we have other objects which do not allow electric current to flow through them and they are called as what insulators or bad conductors of electricity like rubber plastic 
wood all of these are bad conductors right now what about liquids do liquids conduct electricity very interesting no we have seen about solids can liquids conduct electricity interesting now to understand this we will need to make a tester isn't it so far guys we have all made a tester right i'm just searching for my pen yeah it's here all right so so far let's take this white board we have made a tester to con if, to tell if something is a conductor or an insulator what is a tester we used to take what a battery okay connect this battery to what to a bulb now leave this here you have a gap here okay so you have a battery positive negative you have a bulb now we all know that charges flow from positive to negative right chak 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 but when will it flow only if the circuit is complete is it complete right now no so we will take a material for example let's say you have to check if your if rubber is a uh, your eraser if it is a conductor or not you will keep your eraser like this right not raj now do you think the bulb will glow no because this right here is an insulator right now similarly we are going to make use of the same tester to test for liquids how are we going to do that let's see guys okay now again for this tester we'll take the same things okay we'll take a battery okay yes now we'll connect this battery to the bulb let's say the bulb is here and that's it so what do we have we have the battery we have the bulb we have a solution now only if this solution is conducting then the bulb will glow if the solution is not conducting the bulb will not glow so we can check by pouring different solutions inside we can pour lime juice we can pour vinegar we can pour water we can pour distilled water milk so we can test with different liquids right to so understand if that liquid is a conductor or not now this is our setup got it guys yes all right okay the same thing is being done here you can see in this slide what they are using is they are using two pencils but you all can wonder sir why pencil how can pencil conduct electricity pencil can't but there is something inside the pencil that is graphite graphite is a non metal but it's a very good conductor of electricity okay so we are using graphite to pass electricity you can see bubbles are coming here that means electricity is flowing in that liquid you guys can use this setup if you have two pencils one small battery a couple of wires you can do this activity in your house okay because these are made up of graphite basically carbon rods a replica of carbon rods okay now let's go forward yes so when liquid between the two ends of the tester this is the tester right here right when the liquid between two ends of the tester is allowing the electric current to pass the current flows in the circuit and the bulb glows that means that that liquid is a conductor of electricity right exactly next one so when salt is dissolved in a distilled water we obtain salt solution salt solution is a good conductor of electricity in the previous case guys we took lemon juice all right we took lemon juice one second let me just take this out okay so 
we took lemon juice right here so lemon juice is what guys acidic in nature what acid is present in lemon juice we have citric acid so we can tell that the bulb is glowing okay bulb is glowing in terms of acid let's now take salt solution basically mix salt with distilled water it's a salt solution yes salt solution is able to conduct electricity next tap water tap water in fact is a very good conductor of electricity because it already has some dissolved salt in it it's not pure guys distilled water is pure it's hydrogen and oxygen that's all it's water h2o nothing else now always remember if current has to travel if charges have to flow they need carriers and these carriers in the liquid is ions now if the liquid if the solution has ions to carry the charges then only the solution is conducting the liquid is a conductor if there are no free ions to carry the uh, charges or electrons then no current flows and fortunately distilled water doesn't have it so distilled water is a poor conductor of electricity but when we add salt to distilled water the poor conductor becomes a good conductor because it's no longer distilled it is salt solution all right interesting no guys yes so small amounts of mineral salts present naturally in the water is beneficial for our health it's very good for us guys come on we can't survive drinking distilled water no we need normal water which has dissolved salts dissolved minerals in it however these salts uh, make a water a good conductor so we should never touch the electrical appliances after washing our hands because yeah water is a good conductor okay and we will be shocked we will be electrocuted all right now so distilled water is free of salts and it's a poor conductor it cannot conduct electricity simple as that got it guys yes now look at this so most of the liquids that are a solution of acid base and a salt are conducting solutions they conduct electricity they should be acid bases and salts acids we talked about uh, uh, citric acid we talked about vinegar acetic acid bases yes we do have sodium hydroxide you know mixed with uh, or we can use caustic soda mixed with water which is also a good conductor of electricity or we can take uh, 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 salt solutions copper sulfate sodium chloride solutions all of these are good conductors of electricity what about sugar solution nope distilled water nope <laughs> all right now uh, milk guys milk can conduct electricity but not efficiently it can only allow current to pass through it feeble current not you know not everything so how can you detect this feeble current we can't use a bulb like this because a bulb like this requires a lot of current so feeble current weak current can be uh, you know uh, found out can be uh, you know detected by two methods one by using leds light emitting diodes guys leds are present everywhere for example look at my phone my phone's uh, torch is also led the speciality of led is it can glow even if there is a very small amount of charge it requires a small amount of charge to glow so to detect feeble current yes we can use led what is the second method which we can use to detect feeble current i am not going to tell you you guys tell me in the comment section okay whoever gives me right answer i will come comment back okay i'll give you a shout out all right guys let's go forward but before we go forward one more exciting thing which i want to tell you which is going to make you like this what is it that is about how amazing vidantu courses are and for what price is you are getting it so to check that out all you guys have to do is go to my video right now scroll down you can see click here for grade 8 click on this guys guess what guess what for your entire academic year for your entire 8th grade you will be getting classes the subjects covered will be maths english science all the three subjects remember guys all the three subjects along with live in class doubt solving 100% doubts are solved in the class live in class quizzes leaderboards every class you will be having quiz every class you will be having leaderboards how amazing is that 
ऑल इंडिया टेस्ट सीरीज असाइनमेंट्स एंड क्लास नोट्स स्टडी मेटीरियल्स एवरीथिंग विल बी गिवन टू यू जस्ट हैव टू अटेंड द क्लासेस हंड्रेड परसेंट आउट सॉल्विंग ओके फॉर हाउ मच गाइज फॉर जस्ट एट थाउजेंड हंड्रेड फॉर वन ईयर गाइज माई गॉड फॉर वन ईयर ना इफ यू कैलकुलेट द अमाउंट ऑफ मंथ्स इन वन ईयर यूल बी हैविंग क्लासेस इफ यू कैलकुलेट द अमाउंट ऑफ सब्जेक्ट्स इंग्लिश साइंस एंड मैथ If you calculate the amount of classes you will be getting, my classes you will be getting it for a very cheap price, guys. Trust me. Take it up right now because the prices might change, and I don't want you guys to pay more for the same course. If you are watching it right now, all you guys have to do is show it this, show this to your parents. You know, ask them to check this link out. You also have for JE Neat Foundation. I am pretty sure that most of you guys are aspiring to be engineers, doctors. So, guys, trust me. If you are aspiring to be then you will definitely have to take up neat or je exams the preparation should start right now this early yes that is when it will be very easier for you guys to crack it now how can you do it again you have the link here class 8 je neat foundation click on this link even this preparations is just for 8100 guys trust me for what all subjects math physics chemistry biology english oh my god everything for just 8100 take it up right today show this to your parents show where the link is the link is right below my video for grade 6 7 8 and 8 je neat foundation show this and ask them to check out the entire website guys because you'll be having faqs if you have any questions regarding the courses yes there are faqs also see will i get recordings of the classes yes so check out all the faqs see the entire website and take up the courses right today now use the coupon code mkpro that's the code to get 10% off from what you'll be paying okay the coupon code is mkpro guys it's 9000 but 10% off you will get if you use my coupon code m k p r o show this right now to your parents ask them to take up the courses right away because the batches are starting very soon the courses prices will increase very soon don't be late <laughs> all right take it up right today so guys getting back to the class right now yes where were we we were in uh, seeing that the liquids which can conduct electricity are what solutions of acids bases and salts respectively okay so very well then guys you guys have all listened very good now i have two homework questions right one i have already told you what is the other way of detecting feeble current apart from leds first homework question second homework question is human blood a good conductor of electricity human blood let me know in the comment section guys i'll be waiting for all of your comments i will come and comment back and like your comments okay so i hope all of you had fun learning with me today do not forget to take up the courses right away guys take it up right today i'll meet you all in the next class in the second part of this class that is chemical effects of electric current soon until then this is me mohan signing off all of you take care stay safe stay as lovely as always you guys are bye bye